Thank you. Cheshire is removing full-time school resource officers from their schools, but the police chief says it is only temporary. News A's Tim Harfman explains why and how this decision impacts both the town's police department and the school district. The Cheshire Police Department's facing a staffing shortage, an issue plaguing many agencies across the country. We've had a number of resignations and retirements in the last, say, five months. Uh, to the point where our patrol staffing was reaching a critical level. Chief Neil Dreif says they're filling the void by removing their two SROs from Cheshire schools full time and putting them back on patrol. I did not make this decision lightly. Uh, I certainly understand that the comfort level that people have with having uniformed police officers in their schools on a day to day basis. He says the SROs may still patrol the schools part time or overtime, and they're not the only ones impacted. Other Cheshire officers, including the traffic and support services divisions, are also hitting the streets. We're up to 10 people short. We had six vacancies, plus two in the academy plus two on field training. Chief says despite the shortage, the move is only temporary and the officers should be back on their specialty units by the new year. We checked with other police departments about their SROs, including Waterbury, where they're fully staffed with nine full-time officers. New Haven has seven full-time SROs, but budgeted for 10, and Hartford does not currently have school resource officers. Dreif says he's committed to getting the SROs back full-time because their presence brings a sense of security. It's critically important to the work that we do every day. It's very important to our uh, the Cheshire Public schools and most importantly to the community including the students. We also reached out to Cheshire's superintendent for an interview and were referred to the police department for this story. In Cheshire, Tim Harfman, News 8.